Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. Be seen on WHPR Detroit Live, Comcast Cable Channel 91, on the web at tv33whpr.com, with the TV33 app, on Roku, Google TV, Apple TV, and on Amazon Fire TV. Act now. Time slots are limited. Sign up today and get a free replay with the purchase of your time slot. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. The Center for Urban Youth and Family Development is a nonprofit organization that focuses on preventing personal problems we believe are facilitated by being raised in a foster care environment or remediating potential problems through education and information to the community. Our programs focus on three key areas, youth aging out of foster care, community action, and healthcare. Our programs are focused on young adults in the foster care system who are about to age out, those that have just aged out, and the community at large. The Center for Urban Youth and Family Development hosts a variety of services focusing on the needs of foster care youth throughout the community. We also work with numerous community coalitions in our efforts to provide the best services for our clients and to help build stronger communities. We believe that a healthy mind and body are cornerstones to a healthy and prosperous community. The center also engages our community in mental health and wellness advocacy, as well as suicide prevention. Fostered youth emerge from the foster care system vulnerable to substance abuse with little opportunity to obtain higher education or develop life skills. The Center for Urban Youth and Family Development empowers youth that are in and transitioning out of the foster care system to overcome the struggles and challenges by providing them substance abuse prevention, life skills training, and workforce development programs. Drawing from the life experiences of our founder, Mr. Marcel Arbuckle, we open the door to positive and productive life through education, health, and life skills development. For more information, you can visit our website at cuyfddetroit.org or check out our social media at C-U-Y-F-D Detroit. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Urban Review. Urban Review is brought to you by the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development and is sponsored by the Office of National Drug Control Policy. Therefore, I need to share with you that the thoughts and opinions expressed on this show might not necessarily be the thoughts and the opinions of the Office of National Drug Control Policy nor the White House. And we want to get started today by, first of all, my Detroit friends, I've got the best excuse for you to go out and eat that you can come up with. Order something from the Boston Market that's located at 18610 Livernois. That's just north of Seven Mile. Tomorrow, Friday, March 19th, during the hours of 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and 20% of your sales will be donated back to the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development. Your sales will be donated back to our organization, and your support is much appreciated. And all you need to do is mention the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development when ordering, or use the promo code FUNDRAISER for on online orders. Uh, you can RSVP and get more details if you go to www.grouprays.com backslash events backslash 182377. Once again, that's www.grouprays.com backslash events backslash 182377. So tomorrow between 5 o'clock p.m. and 8 o'clock p.m., please stop by the Boston Market located at 18610 Livernois and purchase some of their nutritious and delicious food. Of course, they have roasted chicken or roasted chicken they have ham they have meatloaf 
and they have delicious sides that are nutritious and good to eat, and you will be helping the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development. And as you know, we are dedicated to working with youth that are in and transitioning out of the foster care system, providing substance abuse prevention, life skills development, workforce development, semi-independent living and learning, and suicide prevention. So thank you for your support in advance, and come on out and have a wonderful day. And there's a possibility, in fact, a pretty strong probability, that unless the weather is absolutely miserable, I will be out there in front of the facility between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. So you'll get a chance to give me a what's up and an elbow bump. And uh, we are going to be uh, COVID uh, conscious and we will be following all of our social distancing mandates. But we will be out there to meet and greet with you. So there's just one day until the Center for Urban Youth and Family Developments group raise, uh, group fundraiser, and that's at Boston Market, 5 to 8 o'clock p.m. Tomorrow, 319. Boston Market is at 18, 3, uh, 18 610 Livernois, and uh, they are donating 20% of the sales from takeout and pickup orders uh, when you mention the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development or use the promo code fundraiser if you order online. So we look forward to you being out there and we ask for your support. Uh, next, Wednesday, March the 24th, from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., we will be on a Zoom meeting with the, our friends from the Empowerment Zone Coalition as well as our friends from Spectrum Family and Child and Family Services. We will have folks there from Black Family Development Incorporated. We will have folks there from the Inner City Youth Group and folks there from the nonprofit Full and Fabulous. And the focus and the purpose of this discussion will be shattering the myths. And it's an opportunity for youth to chat with experts to discuss <clears throat> the concerns or questions that they might have about drugs and alcohol and we're going to give you the answers. We are going to have on the panel, first of all, Mr. William Council, who is the Community Outreach Specialist for the Office of Public Affairs at the Department of Justice Federal Bureau of Investigation. So Mr. Council from the FBI will be on the call. Also, we will have Dr. David Williams, who is the Medical Director of the Certified Community Behavioral Health Clinic that's at the Detroit Recovery Project. So Dr. Williams will be there. And last but not least, we will have Ms. Crystal Reyes. And Crystal is the Director of Crisis Services from the Neighborhood Services Organization from NSO. And high schoolers, we've gathered a panel of experts from medical doctors and mental health experts to law enforcement. And they'll be there to answer all of your questions that you might have about drugs and alcohol. So once again, that will be tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, March the 24th, from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. And if you want to join the call, the Zoom meeting ID is 824-3557-8545. Once again, that's 824-3557-8545. The passcode is simply E-Z-C. E is in Edward, Z is in Zealous, and C as in Cool. So please tune in, come in, and uh, be a part of this wonderful panel discussion and hear from the experts all of the questions that you might have regarding uh, <clears throat> drugs and alcohol. And I know a lot of young people uh, have the misperception that because marijuana has been legalized for recreational purposes that it's okay for them to smoke. But just like alcohol, you must be 21 years old in order to utilize, purchase, or possess marijuana in the state of Michigan. So those are the type of questions that you can ask and they will be answered. Next, on March the 31st, oh, and by the way, on March the 24th, 
That is a, in regard to National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. That's right. National uh, Drug and Alcohol Facts Week will take place March the 22nd through March the 28th. And there will be lots of events going on across the country. And here in Detroit, we're going to make you aware of the true uh, we're going to shatter the myths about drugs and alcohol and make you aware of all of the uh, information. So everything that you always wanted to know but were afraid to ask, please call in to the Zoom meeting. Once again, that meeting ID is 824-3557-8545, and the passcode is E-Z-C. E is in Edward, Z is in Zealous, and C is in Cool. Then... For, did you know that March is Parenting Awareness Month? That's right. And for Parenting Awareness Month, the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development is going to be conducting a, a workshop entitled Meeting Them Where They Are At, Helping Youth Manage Acute Childhood Experiences. And we know that acute childhood experiences are ACEs, are factors that have uh, the individuals come in contact with uh, that can range from uh, being uh, abused and neglected as a child, uh, that involve being uh, physically abused or being verbally abused and things of those nature that will have a long lasting impact on a young person and into their adult development. We find that it impacts them mentally as well as physically uh, and so we want to uh, come up with some strategies and share with you some strategies that will help youth manage acute childhood experiences. And we will have as our speaker, Ms. Estella Smith, who has over 40 years of experience in early care and education, and she is committed to developing a research-based coaching model. She has facilitated trainings as well as provided mentoring for instructional coaches and teachers on both the local and national levels. So we look forward to that event, and uh, we will be able to uh, have a wonderful experience. And the Zoom call-in information for that event will be the ID is 790-495-1111. Five seven one zero. Once again, that's seven nine zero four nine five five seven one zero, and the passcode will be C U Y F D. So uh, come on in on March the thirty first between six and seven p.m. and participate in this wonderful uh, learning experience on helping youth manage acute childhood experiences and we want to do it by meeting them where they are so come on out and participate in that activity then today at 6 o'clock p.m. we will be having our drug-free community coalition meeting and the coalition for urban youth and family development meeting will take place at 6 o'clock p.m. it is a zoom conference call meeting and the zoom ID again is 790 Four nine five five seven one zero, and the passcode is C U Y F D. And we ask you to come and be a part of our community coalition. As you know, we formed our coalition several years ago, and we have been designated as a drug-free community coalition. Uh, our mission is to improve outcomes for Westside Detroit youth and their families by establishing and strengthening community collaboratives that promote positive youth development and community revitalization through the prevention of youth substance abuse and other problems behavior. <coughs> so please come out, participate with us, and be a part of our community coalition that will help create a drug-free community on Detroit's west side. We are very excited about uh, the work that we're doing. Uh, we just uh, completed our second annual uh, Substance Abuse Prevention and Mental Health and Wellness Summit in collaboration with the Hartford Men's United from Hartford Memorial Baptist Church, and that was a wonderful, wonderful experience uh, that uh, took place on February the 25th. Uh, we also are working with the youth to uh, conduct a youth survey 
to determine the impact and usage uh, levels of uh, various substances, uh, marijuana, tobacco, alcohol, and opioids uh, in our West Side community. So though that's some of the work that we're doing. We also uh, were fortunate enough to testify on February the 23rd uh, in a hearing regarding the uh, extended sales of alcohol from uh, 2 o'clock a.m. to 4 a.m. And uh, we were able to uh, go before the House of Representatives here in the state of Michigan and share our concerns and advocate uh, in behalf of uh, what is positive and good public policy. And good public policy would not include uh, alcohol sales to 4 a.m. And we know that there are some possible economic uh, impacts, but they cannot be defined. And the uh, negative impacts are definable. Uh, we know that uh, uh, traffic fatalities and automobile crashes uh, after 11 p.m. Uh, to the hours of 2 a.m. increase. And if the hours are, uh, and they all involve uh, DUIs and usage of alcohol, so we know that if the sales of alcohol uh, are extended from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., then there will be uh, additional increases in DUIs, additional increases in fatal automobile accidents, and it will be additional expense to our law enforcement agencies uh, on, here in Wayne County and across the state. So uh, we want to uh, let you know that that's the kind of work that we're doing with the Coalition for Urban Youth and Family Development. As I said earlier, uh, this month or <clears throat> we are vastly approaching, quickly approaching National Drugs and Alcohol Facts Week. And when we come back from our commercial break, we're going to take just a few moments to give you some facts uh, about opioid addiction and about uh, the dangers of mixing opioids and alcohol or other drugs. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching Urban Review, and we'll be right back after these messages. school senior, 17 years of age, all A student. Danny is just now finding out he scored 1,490 out of 1,600 on his SAT. Danny's friend decided to ask, how did you do it? Danny replied, I believe every day is a test to fail or succeed, you choose. The effects of vaping is the one test that Danny chose not to study for. Vaping does not discriminate on who becomes addicted. Over 2 million high school students use some type of electronic cigarette device. The top tobacco companies also own vaping devices. The FDA found that vaping contains some of the same toxic chemicals as regular cigarettes that lead to cancer. So whether you smoke traditional cigarettes with tobacco or smoke electronic cigarettes using nicotine, your health is at risk. There's no safe way to smoke. For more information, contact the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development. will love your Avis Ford because at Avis Ford, we make it easy to get you your no money down monthly payment right over the phone. We call it shop by phone and it's the best way we know to get you your payment options fast. You want leather and a sunroof? How about an upgrade to all wheel drive? Just give us a call. Shop online, shop by phone or visit us at Telegraph at 12 Mile. Call 1-800-SHOP-FORD. The Center for Urban Youth and Family Development is a nonprofit organization that focuses on preventing personal problems we believe are facilitated by being raised in a foster care environment or remediating potential problems through education and information to the community. Our programs focus on three key areas, youth aging out of foster care, community action, and health care. 
Our programs are focused on young adults in the foster care system who are about to age out, those that have just aged out, and the community at large. The Center for Urban Youth and Family Development hosts a variety of services focusing on the needs of foster care youth throughout the community. We also work with numerous community coalitions in our efforts to provide the best services for our clients and to help build stronger communities. We believe that a healthy mind and body are cornerstones to a healthy and prosperous community. The Center also engages our community in mental health and wellness advocacy as well as suicide prevention. Fostered youth emerge from the foster care system vulnerable to substance abuse with little opportunity to obtain higher education or develop life skills. The Center for Urban Youth and Family Development empowers youth that are in and transitioning out of the foster care system to overcome the struggles and challenges by providing them substance abuse prevention, life skills training, and workforce development programs. Drawing from the life experiences of our founder, Mr. Marcel Arbuckle, we open the door to positive and productive life through education, health, and life skills development. For more information, you can visit our website at cuyfddetroit.org or check out our social media at C-U-Y-F-D Detroit. The non-medical use of prescription drugs, including opioids, is a growing concern in our communities, affecting all ages, including our youth. If the medication wasn't prescribed to you or has expired, don't take it. If your name isn't on the bottle, it's not meant for you to swallow. Addiction is real and lives are being ruined. Or worse yet, lost. Visit PreventionDetroit.org slash opioids to find prescription drop box locations. Good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as I indicated earlier, uh, we are approaching National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. And I wanted to take a little time uh, to just update you and give you some facts about uh, opioids. Opioids uh, and the misuse of opioids has led to a dramatic rise in emergency room visits and overdose deaths. Uh, many of those overdose deaths are due to mixing opioids with alcohol or other drugs. And here's what you need to know. First of all, opioids are powerful pain-killing drugs. Uh, they are legal prescription drugs like oxycodone, hydrocodone, uh, codeine, morphine, and fentanyl. And heroin, the legal street drug, is also an opioid. Uh, and, and I mean heroin, the illegal street drug, is also an opioid. Opioids uh, slow down a person's breathing and their heart rate, and they are also known to be very, very addictive. Alcohol, on the other hand, is a depressant. Drinking alcohol affects the brain and central nervous system. Alcohol slows down the muscle coordination and reflexes. When too much alcohol is consumed all at one time, it can cause a person's breathing to slow down or even stop. Mixing an opioid with alcohol can be deadly. Never mix uh, an opioid with alcohol. Both opioids and alcohol slow down your breathing and your heart rate. When taken together, those effects are even stronger. This increases the risk of overdose and death. Mixing an opioid with other drugs can also be drink dangerous. Certain prescription and over-the-counter drugs taken with an opioid can slow down or stop a person's heartbeat and their breathing and may cause death. Never mix opioids with uh, benzo benzos. These medications are prescribed for anxiety or stress. Common benzos include Valium, uh, Xanax, and, and Activan. Never mix opioids with prescriptions or over-the-counter sleep medications, such as Librium, Ambien, and others. Know what you are taking. Ask your doctor or your pharmacist about alcohol and all your medications, prescription, over-the-counter, and the supplements, because there is often a reaction when those two substances mix. Pay attention to the drug warning labels and know that some drugs can stay in your system longer than others. When it comes to street drugs, if you are using drugs for non-medical reasons, do not use multiple substances at the same time. It is becoming common for street drugs to be cut with illegally made fentanyl and a, a powerful and often deadly uh, synthetic opioid. Know about naloxone. 
Naloxone is a life-saving medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. If someone you know is using opioids for any reason, it is a good idea to have naloxone on hand. Ask your doctor or your pharmacist about where to get it and how to use it. And you can get some training on the use of naloxone for free uh, through the Detroit Integrated Health Network. Just contact the Detroit Integrated Health Network and they will con connect you with free naloxone training and you will be able to get a free naloxone kit. So uh, please take advantage of that opportunity. And in the case of an overdose or a medical emergency, well, let me say it like this. An overdose is a medical emergency, no doubt about it. So a person who overdosed may be calm or may be pale or clammy to the touch, have a limp body, have blue, purple, or grayish fingernails, uh, lips or skin, be unable to speak or awaken, be vomiting or making gurgling noises, have slowed or stopped breathing, have a slow or stopped heartbeat. If you have naloxone on, on hand, give it to the person immediately. And if you are with someone who has been drinking and they pass out, consider whether opioids or other drugs may be involved. It is important to get help. Taking opioid drugs, even for medical reasons, can be risky. Opioids are highly addictive, and mixing opioids with alcohol or other drugs is a leading cause of overdose death. So I want you to know that and to understand that like heart disease or diabetes, opioid addiction is a medical condition. We have stigmatized it, but we need to know that it's a medical condition just like having high blood pressure. Opioid addiction is considered a chronic disease because it causes long-lasting changes to the brain. These changes can take a person, uh, make a person more likely to use opioids again. Though it is chronic, it can be treated and managed. A person with an opioid addiction can regain health and a productive life. A good first step is to have the person meet with a doctor. Together they can make a treatment plan that best suits the person and his or her situation. When a person stops taking opioids, he or she will have withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawals from opioids can cause a person to feel very, very sick, and medications can help reduce these symptoms, so therefore you should seek the assistance of a doctor. Uh, Medication-assisted treatment, or MAT, can be very, very effective. Uh, medicated assisted treatment is a treatment plan that combines medication and therapy. It typically involves a regular and appropriate dose of either methadone or some other uh, similar type of medication. And these medications help reduce cravings and prevent withdrawal symptoms. They do not make a person feel high. These medications can be safely taken for years to help with the recovery process. Therapy is a part of medication-assisted treatment. A key reason that medication-assisted treatment is effective treatment is the use of behavioral therapies and counseling. Medication helps with the cravings, but a person with addiction also needs to learn healthier behaviors. This can mean becoming aware of behavior patterns that may be associated with drug use and learning new patterns. Trained counselors and therapists can help with this. Getting emotional support from friends and family is important too. Support can help a person stick with their treatment. And remember, relapse can happen, so be ready for that. It is not unusual for a person with an opioid addiction to, a, to relapse at least once. Relapse is not failure. It takes time to unlearn uh, addictive behavior patterns and develop better behavior and coping skills. Opioid relapses can be deadly. Make sure that you have naloxone on hand. Naloxone, once again, is a life-saving medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. And you can talk to the Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network or the Youth Connection on Detroit's east side to get information about uh, nor naloxone as where to get it and how to use it. 
Remember that recovery is a long-term process. Changes in the brain due to drug use may last for months or even years. Patience is important. With treatment and effort, a person with opioid addiction can regain his or her health and control the addiction. Recovery takes time, but it is worth it. It is very, very worth it. We know that treatment works, recovery works, and we know that prevention works. So that's why we at the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development work for our prevention efforts. And as we come to a close of our show, we hope that this information has been informative and helpful as we approach uh, National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. And we ask that you observe these activities and that you participate with the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development. Call into our coalition meeting tonight. The Zoom ID is 790-495-5710. And the passcode is C-U-Y-F-D. And in the words, that Nelson Mandela thought of each day during his 27 years of, of, ca of captivity, out of the night that covers me, black as a pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods there be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud, and under the bludgeoning of chance, my head be bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of raft and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the minutes of the years finds and shall find me unafraid, for it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the captain of my fate and the master of my soul. Remember to stop by Boston Market, 18610 Livernois, tomorrow between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. and mention the Center for Urban Youth and Family Development when you place your order. And if you order online, use the promo code fundraiser and that will help with a 20% donation to our cause. And as we close out, we want to say when you're up against some trouble, meet it squarely face to face. Plant your feet, set your shoulders, lift your chin, and take a brace. And when the worst is bound to happen, in spite of all that you can do, remember you may fail, but you may conquer, so see it through. Black may be the clouds about you, and your future may seem grim, but don't let your nerve desert you. Keep yourself in fighting trim. And when it's veiled to try and dodge it, in spite of all that you can do, remember running from it will not save you, so see it through. Even hope may seem but futile when with troubles you'll be set, but remember you are simply facing what other men have met so if you fail fall still fighting and don't give up whatever you do keep your eyes to the front your head high to the finish and see it through thank you for watching urban review